Do I have a motion to approve the minutes of the October 27th, 2020 regular session? So moved. I'll move approval. All right, I'll take that as a motion from Council Member Christensen, and it was seconded by Council Member Waters. Any public, any discussion or debate? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion to approve the minutes of October 27th, 2020 regular session is hereby approved unanimously. All right, any agenda revisions, submission of documents, or motions to direct the city manager or staff to add agenda items? Dr. Waters? Thanks, Mayor Bagley. Um, uh, we're all aware we're, we're about to do the final actions on the 2021 20, uh, budget, and we're all aware of the fact that in that budget, there are no adjustments in compensation for city employees, not to suggest that there might not be. Uh, what we've heard from Jim and Harold is that as we get into 2021, as they get a clear picture of what, what revenues might look like, uh, they might bring to us a recommendation to make salary adjustments for 2021. I'm taking the motion to mean, Harold, you have the green light to discuss compensation in terms of time off, paid time off, salary increases. You've got our blessing. And you're the executive over HR. Proceed. And we'll, right. bring, we, we'll bring something back to council. All right. And I, council member Hidalgo Faring. So I'd like to direct staff to get an update on what's going to happen or what where the status is on the um, North Main Street corridor. Mayor's yeah. prerogative. Just put a five minute, just a five minute update on the next at the next council meeting or, or whenever you can. Just what's going on with North Main because I do see a lot of there's construction going on. Why don't you just let us know what's going on? Yep. Could you do that? Yep. All right. I work with Joni and Aaron, and we can do that. And then any of the parks i know we you we did some updates on car park so that was and that meant a lot to a lot of the folks in the neighborhood who walk to that let's make park. sure let's, let's include the car parks too harold let's, let's include the parks that are kind of getting neglected so let's include them appreciate that all right hey. uh, COVID update harold we have a guest yeah, tonight, man. right yeah we have several guests actually tonight i'm scott cook i'm the ceo of the Longmont Chamber. And I'm joined this evening by Ashley Sherman. She is with the uh, North Main Walmart store. Thanks, Scott, and um, everyone. Uh, we have um, really partnered with the Chamber to to donate our, you know, our money and our um, budgeted funds, being able to provide to the community is, is something that is um, really core to me and to my management team and to Walmart as a whole. So we are here for the city of Longmont um, and any other needs that, that you guys and everyone has. So Mayor Council, you started with, I believe it was 10,000 you all put into this. We put another 10,000 in from the CARES funding and then um, added the, I guess, 4,500, so 14,000. So the idea for this program is definitely taken off and we hope that others are interested in um, continuing to support it and continue to grow the program. So um, thanks for the idea. Yeah, it was a great idea um, and, and, and a classic team effort with the city, you know, council member Peck coming up with the idea, council members coming in, Sandy and staff working with the chamber, also working with the Tinker Mill who made the tokens. And so you're really seeing multiple groups come together to work. And that's how Longmont rolls as we do things as a community and coming together. So again, just another example of our great community. As we received uh, some correspondence from DOLA. Also, I also received correspondence from the state and the governor's office. The governor's really, um, for the state employees, um, they've announced that state employees in level orange or level red counties will work remotely for the month of November and those except for those critical government functions who cannot perform job duties remotely. We're going through that and evaluating the situation right now. And um, I wanted council to know that we, we are working to trim our numbers down as an organization to, to come into compliance with the, with the state orders and what they're asking local governments to do. All right, Susan, can you um, join us? So I'm Susan Motika. I'm the Strategic Initiatives and Policy Director at Boulder County Public Health. So you can see that our two-week cumulative incidence rate is 458 Point eight per 100,000. Our two-week testing positivity rate is now 7.1%. Our hospital status is still in the green, 
So this is our five-day average number of new cases of COVID-19 among Boulder County residents. And this is just as of November 9th. So here you can see that since October 1, Longmont, Longmont has the highest case rate per 100,000. Again, that's since 10-1-20. This is a slide that Jeff Zak always presents uh, it just in our last two weeks. And if you just look at that right-hand side, it just sees that you ju can just see clearly that very significant escalation. Um, I would also point out that there have been 18 deaths from COVID in Boulder County since October 1. I think that I think the message needs to get out to folks that we need to stay six feet apart, wear our masks, and stay within your family unit. I think if we just ask people and just pass along the message that the governor right. is asking us to. So we have opened the testing location at the fairgrounds. Dan Eamon and our emergency management team, they're working with them. Uh, to assist in that operation that's also creating uh, more testing opportunities. All we have to do the things that the mayor just indicated. Wear a mask, social distance, and stay within our family units and really follow those guidelines. And I think those are inc incredibly important messages. I'm going to go ahead and do first call public invited to be heard. I'm calling in to just comment on the RV ordinance and RV or a series of RVs that parked in front of our residence for over a month, um, couple, uh, several months in one instance. And I think we're recognizing that it's time for an update and refinement of this code. So I appreciate the group, the council looking at this issue. I would just like to say that not taking action on this is not an option calling about the RV ordinance as well. And I, I bring my camper trailer home from the storage unit, park it out front, load it and unload it. But part of loading is charging the batteries and cooling the refrigerator. And that's more than just a couple of hours. So I'm hoping that in the final ordinance, there is some provision for parking out front for overnight at least, maybe two nights, uh, so that we can cool off the fridge, get the batteries charged, load her up, and off we go. I'm uh calling in on the AMI uh, smart meter issue. I practice integrative internal medicine, as I think that you all probably know, and I've helped many of my patients recover from the adverse health effects of the same uh, radio frequency radiation emitted by the wireless version of the AMI smart meter presently under review. I am one of the self-avowed EMF canaries in the coal mine. You've heard me speak of this, living within the local Longmont community. Why on earth would insurance companies refuse to insure smart meters were it not for this obvious danger and other known hazards? I urge you to reconsider the AMI wireless smart meter program in Longmont, knowing that wired infrastructure is by far the healthier, safer way to move into a healthier future for all. First of all, I'd like to thank you for the $25 um, uh, tokens. And the, my last sentence was, with all due respect, now is not the time to make no parking loss because of the COVID and because it's freezing cold out here. Just for your information, do you know that the dump station takes only credit cards, Visa, or MasterCard? And not everyone has credit cards. And also, I'd like to tell Mr. Dominguez that your COVID-19, we cannot turn down that road because it says do not enter. Um, and to Jeff Satter, I'd like to say of how many of those uh, vehicles that he towed off, 900, I think it was he mentioned, how many of those are RVs? And how many warning tickets were repeats of the same vehicle? And to Karen with coordinated entry, I'd like to say, how many from Longmont did you put in the Boulder shelter? And did you know that when they came back to Longmont, they were not able to get services from our center? Sending my love to all of you. Thank you very much for being there for us. Okay. I, I'm talking about the, the, the sleeper vehicle ordinance. Uh, I guess it includes just about anything you can sleep in. How many people that are being impacted, that are living in RVs, has the city made arrangements for these people to be involved in these meetings? 
none of them. So particularly people with disabilities like myself who found that they cannot afford anything other than living in a vehicle at this time. I am president of the Ryder Ridge Homeowners Association, and I have lived at this address in Longmont for over 20 years. The This new ordinance about RV parking uh, goes too far, and some of the other callers have mentioned some of the problems with it, and I'm going to talk about a different kind of problem. This ordinance makes it illegal for me to park my, my good condition, current licensed small motor home um, in front of my house just to clean the leaves or snow off my driveway. And and like the last caller su suggested, I'm going to say the same thing. You've got to put a little more effort into finding alternatives for people who need to sleep in their vehicle. Let's move on to the consent agenda. Don? Mayor Bagley, item 9A is Ordinance 2020-59, a bill for an administrative ordinance approving the grant of a deed of conservation easement in gross from the city of Longmont to the Longmont Conservation District on the Newby Farms open space property, public hearing and second reading scheduled for December 1st, 2020. 9B is Ordinance 2020-60, a bill for an ordinance authorizing the City of Longmont to lease the real property known as Vance Brand Municipal Airport, hangar parcel H14B, to Craig Nelson, public hearing and second reading scheduled for December 1st, 2020. 9C is Ordinance 2020-61, a bill for an ordinance authorizing the City of Longmont to lease the real property known as Vance Brand Municipal, Air Municipal Airport, hangar parcel H37, to Robert Singer, public, public hearing and second reading scheduled for December 1st, 2020. 9D is resolution 2020-110, a resolution of the Longmont City Council authorizing the transfer of a portion of the unencumbered appropriation balance of the employee benefit fund to the employee pension fund. 9E is resolution 2020-111, a resolution amending the financial policies of the city of Longmont for 2021. 9F is Resolution 2020-112, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the City of Longmont 2021 classification and pay plan for city employees. 9G, Resolution 20, pardon me, 2020-113, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and Boulder County for mediation services. 9H is res Resolution 2020-114, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the City of Longmont and the State of Colorado, Division of Fire Prevention and Control for Emergency Facilities and Land Use of Button Rock Reservoir, Clover Basin Reservoir, and McCall Lake. 9I is Resolution 2020-115, a resolution of the Longmont City Council, approving the intergovernmental agreement between the City and the Longmont Housing Authority for Support and Services. And 9J is approved one capital improvement program amendment. I move approval of the consent agenda. Second. Second. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. The consent agenda is moved and passes unanimously. All right, let's go on to ordinances on second reading. The first is ordin uh, uh, um, item 10A, ordinance 2020-51, a bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the city of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2020. I'm going to move ordinance 2020-51. Second. All right, it's been moved by myself, seconded by Dr. Waters. Any other debate? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, ordinance 2020-51 passes unanimously. Item 10B, ordinance 2020-52, a bill for an ordinance adopting the budget for the city of Longmont for the year 2021. I'll move uh, ordinance 2020-52. All second. All right. It's been moved by Dr. Waters, seconded by Councilmember Hidalgo Faring. Any further discussion, debate, dialogue? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. say nay. All right. Ordinance 2020-52 passes unanimously. Item ordinance 2020-53, which is item 10C on the agenda, a bill for an ordinance making appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the city of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2021. Do you want to make a motion? No, I was just moving the hair out of my face. <laughs> Somebody make a motion. I could, I'll move, I would I'll move ordinance 2020-53. Second. Uh, all right. It's been moved by Dr. Waters and seconded by Council Member Peck. Uh, all in favor of ordinance 2020-53, say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right. Ordinance 2020-53 passes unanimously. 
All right, item 10D, ordinance 2020-54, a bill for an ordinance amending section 3.04.885, the Longmont Municipal Code adopting an amendment to the employee contribution requirement, the City of Longmont General Employees Retirement Plan. I move ordinance 2020-54. Second. In favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. say nay. All right, ordinance 2020-54 passes unanimously. On to item 10E, ordinance 2020-55, a bill for an ordinance authorizing a farmland lease agreement between the city of Longmont and Joseph M. Dochef on the French property. Uh, do, I'll move it. Dr. Waters, you want to second it? I'll second. All right, it's been moved and seconded by Dr. Waters. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, it passes unanimously. Ordinance 2020-56, which is item 10F, a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the vacation of right-of-way within the Villas the Ute Creek subdivision, generally located north of 17th Avenue and west of Pace Street. Do we have a motion? I'll move ordinance 2020-56. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it as uh, moved by Dr. Waters, seconded by Council Member Christensen. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right. Ordinance 2020-56 passes unanimously. We're going to go ahead and skip 10G for a moment. Let's go on to 10H. Ordinance 2020-58, a bill for an administrative ordinance approving the purchase option agreement to convey a parcel of city-owned land located at 2000 Sunset Way to Sunset Element, LLC. Council I'll Member Dago. Okay. I'll move ordinance 2020-58. Second. Second. All right, it's been moved by Council Member Dago Faring, seconded by Council Member Christensen. All in favor of passing Ordinance 2020 58, say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. say nay. All right, item 10H, Ordinance 2020 58, passes unanimously. All right, now let's go back to item 10G, Ordinance 2020 57, a bill for an ordinance amending Chapter 11 of the Longmont Municipal Code on vehicles abandoned, kept on public property, or jumped. Let's go. I'm going to move Ordinance 2020-57, a bill for an ordinance amending Chapter 11 of the Longmont Municipal Code on vehicles abandoned, kept on public property, or junked. Second. All right, it's been seconded. Council. All in favor of passage of Ordinance 2020-57 on second reading, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. So the ordinance passes six to one with council member Christensen opposed. Resolution LGID 2020-06 is a resolution of the board of directors of the Longmont General Improvement District number one, adopting the annual budget for the district for the fiscal year 2021. Do we have a motion? I'll move uh, resolution 2020-6. I'll second that. All right, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, resolution LGID 2020-06 passes unanimously. Acting as the Lama Urban Renewal Authority, resolution LURA 2020-01, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners, the Longmont Urban Renewal Authority, adopting the annual budget for the authority for the fiscal year 2021. I'll move that. I can't see it on my screen right now. All right, we're good. Okay. All right, so there's a motion for resolution LURA-2020-01. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed Aye. say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Resolutions of the Longmont City Council approving an allotment contract and escrow agreement and two allotment transfer agreements for the Windy Gap Firming Project. In favor of resolution 2020-16, a resolution of Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental allotment contract between the City of Longmont acting by and through its water utility enterprise and the Windy Gap Firming Project water activity enterprise for capacity of the Windy Gap Firming Project. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. say nay. That motion carries Harold unanimously. All right. Do we have a motion for resolution 2020-117? So moved. All right. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right. Uh, that motion uh, passes unanimously. All right, item 12-3, resolution 2020-118, a resolution of Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the City of Longmont and the City of Loveland for the sale and purchase of Windy Gap Firming Project storage capacity. Do we have a motion? So moved. I'll second that. All right, any questions or debate on this? Didn't think so. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Uh, resolution 2020-119, a resolution of Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the City of Longmont and the City of Fort Lupton for the sale and purchase of Windy Gap Firming Project storage capacity. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. 
All right, it's been moved by Councilmember Martin, seconded by Dr. Waters. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Sorry, the motion carries unanimously. Right, now we've got some resolutions along with City Council approving the Third Amendment, the redevelopment and reimbursement agreement, and partial assignment to 320 Granary Owner LLC for 210 Emory Street and consent to a development concept plan for 110 Emory Street. Taking it one at a time, do we have a motion for resolution 2020-120, a resolution along with City Council consenting to the development concept plan for 110 Emory Street? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All right, it's been moved by Councilmember Martin, second by Councilmember Peck. Any discussion on the matter before we vote? All right, seeing none, all in favor of resolution 2020-120, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Next, resolution 2020-121, a resolution along with City Council approving the Third Amendment to the Redevelopment and Reimbursement Agreement and partial ass assignment and assumption to 320 Granary Owner LLC for 210 Emory Street and 322nd Avenue. All in favor of resolution 2020-121, say aye. 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 All right, the motion carries unanimously. Discussion regarding council members' roles and responsibilities as City of Longmont Advisory Board liaisons. Um, I put this on because uh, there's some question as to what are our roles as liaisons. And that concludes our session on, on liaisons. How about we all just do the best we can and we'll go nuts. All right. That's an established 2021 city council meeting schedule. Thank you. Yep. All right. Great. Okay. Let's move on to mayor and council comments. Councilmember Christensen. Well, tomorrow is Veterans Day and we won't get to have a parade. And that's really sorry about that. But I hope all the veterans out there know how much everyone uh, appreciates their service. What I would like to say is just, uh, um, I'm an unaffiliated former Republican. And uh, as mayor of a small town in, in Longmont, Colorado, I just want to stress how important it is that uh, we continue to recognize and uh, and uh, support our democratic process for selecting presidents. But I'd like to congratulate President-elect Biden for his victory. Councilmember Peck. Thank you, Mayor Bagley, for those comments. I echo them, but I also am very proud to be an American, to be live in the United States, because it is one of the few places where we can turn our government in a peaceful, democratic manner. That is a privilege. And we should never forget that, that we are very fortunate to have the opportunity to voice our opinion. So thank you very much. Anybody else? Councilmember Martin? Yes, uh, I'd also like to commend you, Mr. Mayor, um, for very well chosen words. Um, I concur. Uh, and I think in the coming year, um, I would like us all to work on having a consensus of fact, if not a consensus of opinion. Councilor Martin? Yes, uh, I'd also like to commend you, Mr. Mayor, um, for very well chosen words. Um, I concur. Uh, and I think in the coming year, um, I would like us all to work on having a consensus of fact, if not a consensus of opinion. We have um, research and, and news outlets such as the Associated Press in this country that um, are nonpartisan and indisputably uh, trustworthy. And I, I hope that all of the American public will remember that. All right, guys, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, that's a nay. So uh, oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's not a nay. That's a big eye. We're out of here. It's late. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody.